morning and welcome to Flannel Hill Farm. We are on our way to get some go juice. Um, I may have messed up. So we were watering last night like we do since I or since we planted and I woke up I don't know to me it feels like the middle of the night might only been like three or four in the morning I forgot to shut the water off so the sweet potatoes we're gonna go look together I don't know Oh, okay, so yeah, lots of wasted water. You can see all the way down there, but at the other end of the beds, it's wet. But the bed is intact. So we didn't lose any slips and we didn't ruin a bed. So that's good. Okay, I feel better now. Okay, so it is just as cool out here this morning as it is in the camper. But I am ready for a 100 degree day. So, uh, today we are going to do some stuff this morning. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'm very con just out of it this morning. Um, so, oh, I didn't show you guys yesterday. So the guys that did our foundation have been here like their entire lives. So, they know a lot of the history around this place. And they dug up a wheel hub. So this is the middle of an old, like, wooden wagon wheel. Super cool. So they dug that up and I kept it. Um, adding that to my collection of cool things that have been dug up and they said that if I just if you just keep digging you'll find more and more and more and more they said if you go down by the rivers and you start digging you'll find a lot of Native American stuff so Indian stuff I'm part Cherokee I don't care we're all kind of Native American if you're born here. You're a Native American. But, and I, I don't find offense in the Indian. I am, I am Indian. I'm Cherokee Indian. So, anyways. I don't know what we're going to do today. I am, wow. Yeah, I don't know if that waking up in the middle of the night and shutting that water off. I don't know what happened. So, we didn't get much done yesterday because they were here doing the foundation. So we kind of just stayed inside out of their way, making sure the dogs didn't get in their way. Um, and... We gotta do, I think I gotta talk to Big K because we gotta do these lean-tos, but I think we're gonna have to rent an auger thing. And I think he wants to do kind of all of that at the same time. You know, cause rent an auger for the five by five posts for the lean-tos and for the corner posts. So I don't know. 
I don't know. I can't. So, I will show you. Walk through the foundation a little bit. Oh, God. Woof. Um, so it's not, it's not what originally it was supposed to be, which is slightly frustrating. So this is the foundation. There's, um, this is the footing. And then this is insulation. So we're having insulated footings and insulated slab. So yeah, this is this is it. This is the foundation. And they put the they put these wooden stakes in because they're gonna come back and pour the slab, but they're gonna put their, that's gonna be part of their, they call that, it's the wooden casing you put around so that the concrete doesn't roll out the sides. Um, the form, that's what they're gonna put the form on. And then um, they can just break those off and they'll rot out and they're only like a couple inches into the concrete. And you'll never see it, notice it, nothing. So that's why they do it that way. Instead of having to go way outside and build a larger form to make up that room. So yeah, I don't know what we're doing. We do have damage control the actual guys that did the excavating and the concrete work were not the problem. They were fantastic. But the guys that delivered the concrete broke one of my hoses and they did not stay like on the driveway and they went off and they destroyed our culvert so I'm gonna have to fix that hose because a I don't want to pay for water I'm not using and B I don't want to waste the water so I'm gonna have to fix that today probably not water sweet potatoes and I somebody in that watches these videos can probably explain this to me but these beds are holding water and they're just dirt are holding water until the next evening when I go to water so I've been wa we've been watering between 6 and 7 p.m. starting and these beds will still be this like moist, darker. See, this one is empty bed, so that one doesn't get watered. But this gets watered, that gets watered. Sweet potatoes really got watered. But I can come out here at six or seven tonight after it's been a hundred degrees. And these, the beds that have been watered will still be moist. I don't get it because we have sun and it is like blistering hot out here. The hottest times of the day are probably like 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So how? How are they still wet? I mean, I'm happy about it because then we basically just skip over the beds that are still wet. But I don't get it. I don't like evaporation. I don't understand. Maybe it has something to do with soil composition. I don't know. My dogs are looking at me because they're hungry. They haven't eaten yet. They're standing over there by the camper just 
Um, all right, so that was my little morning rant. Um, we have to wait for plumbing before they can do the slab. So now it's a waiting game. He's very busy. He's very good, but he's very busy. So we just have to be patient because I feel very nervous about going with anybody else. Like I, he said, I'm really busy. Try this other guy because he knows what he's doing. I tried. His voicemail was full. So, and then I actually took it upon myself to kind of look and see if I could find anybody else. And if they said they could do it, I was gonna call him back and ask him if they were a good plumber. And as I was calling, I just got this terrible feeling and Kevin was like, I don't think I want to use anybody else. And I was like, okay, so. Oh, we need a burn barrel. All right, on your way back down the hill, if you could like, share, subscribe, and I have to feed dogs, so you don't have to worry about dogs. Hit that little bell notification button. Comment if you know anything about those beds, why they would still be moist after a 100 degree day. And anything else you feel you want me to know. I read them all. Alright, I appreciate y'all.